Hello, my name is Daisuke Yoshidome. I'm a third year PhD student in the Department of Biotechnology. My presentation title is Tiny Savior for Sustainable Food Supply. Now, I will start. What do you think when you see an agricultural landscape like this? You might think agriculture is one of the most eco-friendly processes of all human activities, but it is an illusion. Contrary to this relaxing landscape, modern agriculture is not in the least eco-friendly in fact. The corporate is synthetic fertilizer. Today, as many as 200 million tons of synthetic fertilizer are annually used in the world, and the production of its main material, ammonia, consumes 2% of the world fossil fuels. So, what you must see in this picture is not a rice plant, but a power plant, which causes environmental pollution and global warming. What is worse, it is estimated that fossil fuels will be exhausted within one century, which means that modern agriculture will inevitably collapse. Then, our children will suffer from severe hunger and fight over a tiny amount of food. But don't worry, there is a savior that exists all around us, nitrogen-fixing bacteria. They are too tiny to see, but have a desirable ability that is producing ammonia using only sugar, photosynthesized by plants, not fossil fuels. The application of nitrogen-fixing bacteria as biofertilizer is our last way to sustain the food supply. So, I focused on a Japanese food staple, rice, and evaluated their ammonia productivity in rice paddies by a novel system. Many researchers have used bacterial test tube cultivation for such evaluations, but the previous system is far from the paddy condition because the bacteria are placed on jelly that contains a lot of sugar like cola and just left to sit. Wait, sweet paddy water is weird, right? So, I have modified the test tube system in three ways to simulate rice paddies. Firstly, diluting the cola jelly until it is tasteless. Secondly, introducing artificial fibers to mimic the soil. Lastly, feeding the bacteria a bit of sugar and removing their waste every day, like a babysitter. Interestingly, in this novel system, nitrogen-fixing bacteria became brisk, and their ammonia productivity was more than 10 times higher, which indicates they can work as well as synthetic fertilizer. Moreover, we are actually able to obtain normal rice ears by using nitrogen-fixing bacteria instead of synthetic fertilizer. Applying these results to other crops, we can say goodbye to synthetic fertilizer. The tiny savior makes agriculture eco-friendly, which will make our children friendly. Thank you.